Hi folks, Thomas Henson here with thomashenson.com and today is another episode of Big Data, Big Questions. And so today's question comes in is, should data engineers know machine learning algorithms? So we're going to tackle that question right after this. Welcome back. So today we're going to, get to talk a little bit about algorithms, right? So, you know, put your uh, math hat on and let's uh, dive into this question today. And so today's question, it's, it's one I get a lot. It's, uh, it's about the role of a data engineer in machine learning. And basically it is, you know, I've taken this question from a couple different sources that I've seen where they've asked, you know, should data engineers know machine learning algorithms? And kind of where some of that falls into is, you know, what is the role of the data engineer and what is the role of the data scientist? And so really this question for me is, is, is really simple. I'm going to go off of my experience and kind of share with you what I've done around machine learning algorithms and how I've approached it in my career as a data engineer, software engineer, you know, Hadoop administrator. There's a couple, couple different ways to look at it, but basically the way that I've approached it is I haven't, I haven't really learned it. And when I say learn it or know it, I haven't been in, you know, I'm not going to make a recommendation on it. So, you know, the way, the way I look at it is you should be familiar with them. So you should be familiar with them, especially familiar with them as far as like what's involved in the package. So are you using my, my how, you know, what are the algorithms in there? What are the algorithms in your workflow? And then all the, all the other libraries too. So if you're evaluating other libraries, so maybe you guys are looking to, you know, maybe you haven't used Spark and you want to look at the ML library that's there and you're, you're kind of going back and forth with those, you want to understand from a basic, very high level, you know, what those algorithms are and for sure what algorithms you're using in your environment so that you can make an educated recommendation saying, hey, you know, I think we should move this, you know, let's, let's still have the data scientists involved and have them, you know, look and make sure that, you know, the algorithms that we're going to be using from those packages are going to fall in line with what we're really using because that's one of the things too, you'll find that they will differentiate a little bit. So, you know, what, what we're using in Mahout may not be exactly the same, you know, version in, you know, Madlib or, you know, the ML, ML library. And so just be able to understand kind of for sure what's in your workflow, be familiar with them too. Another thing that I did, so like I said, be familiar with them from a high level, but not be making a recommendation. I actually did, you know, picked one. So I, I would say, you know, be familiar with them, but pick one that you really want to, you know, really want to understand and learn. Um, I picked uh, singular value decomposition because that's, you know, something we used a lot in our workflow. And so I was just kind of had a natural curiosity for it. And, it, you know, it had a really cool story, too, around it. So, you know, I found some stories around it. You know, it was made really popular with the, the Netflix uh, challenge. So back, uh, Netflix had a challenge for, you know, to beat our data scientists with your algorithm. And so SVD was used to, you know, do some of the sorting there. And it was kind of made famous from that perspective. And so, you know, I was familiar with it, but I made sure that I, that I understood one just for natural curiosity. Now, if you are looking to, you know, at some point make a jump, right, to data scientists, so you're a data engineer, and at some point down the road, you'd like to be, you know, I want to be the data scientist. I want to say, hey, this is the algorithm we should use. You know, maybe, you know, maybe you just want to be a data scientist because, you know, for a couple years running, it's been the, you know, sexiest career, you know, in IT for a while. And so if that's, that's kind of your approach, you know, definitely start to start to know them. Obviously, learn the ones that are in your environment first, because that's going to be the easiest. You're going to have the access to, you know, why you're using it, how you're using it, and you have access to the data scientists too to kind of, you know, take you under their wing to some extent and, and, you know, show you the ins and outs of why you're using what you did and, you know, kind of why you didn't use other ones too. Or for, for an aspiring data scientist, then yes, for sure you want to jump in and, you know, start to understand and start to know them. But for a data engineer, I don't think you have to learn the algorithms, right? I think you have to be familiar with them. I think, you know, for natural curiosity, you know, maybe learn, you know, one or two, but really our role is not to recommend and say, hey, you know, these are the algorithms I think we should use, or even like to pick packages and say, hey, these packages here, we're going to, you know, we're going to standardize on the how, and that's the only thing we're going to use. That's, that, you know, that's not really our role, right? If you have any questions, uh, make sure you submit them uh, to Big Data Big Questions. Uh, you can do it from the website. Go to Twitter, use the hashtag Big Data Big Questions in the comment section here. However you want to get in, get in touch with me, and get those questions answered. Also, make sure you subscribe so that you never miss all this big data question, all these big data big questions, goodness, and so that you can always, you know, learn more. Thanks again, folks.